Hello, and welcome to the Art of Selling Online Courses. The goal of this podcast is to share winning strategies and secret hacks from top performers in the online course industry. My name is John Ainsworth, and today's guest is Charles Bird. What you really need to know about Charles is his proven record of helping others create super profitable joint venture partnerships. Not only is he one of the most connected people in the online space, and he is, but he knows how to help you to set up lucrative promotional deals. It helps his students and his clients book in hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of business. He knows how to get you in leads without needing to pay for advertising. Um, and if that's music to your ears and you want to grow your business, Charles is definitely one to listen to. Before we introduce Charles onto the show, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor. The Art of Selling On Courses is brought to you thanks to my company, Data Driven Marketing. We help online course creators to increase their online course revenue 20 to 100% through strategic funnel optimization. We help you convert more of your visitors into leads, more leads into sales, and the sales into more revenue. We do that through email marketing, webinars, tripwire funnels, and more. Go to datadrivenmarketing.co slash calculator to find out how much more you could be making from your courses with the Ideal Funnel. Charles, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, John. It's a pleasure to be here. Talk to me, how did you get started? Because you didn't start with doing joint ventures in terms of this courses you were selling, did you? So what was your first course? Sure. So a uh, little background. I worked in the Silicon Valley for 15 years. I was a director at a billion dollar software company, and I wanted a taste of that entrepreneurial freedom I read about in books. And so I took the plunge and I went from wall to wall meetings to just silence and basically isolation. I created a low ticket productivity course and I figured out pretty quickly I had no one to sell it to because <laughs> I had no <laughs> list no connections and didn't understand traffic. I went to two industry events, online marketing kind of events. And there was a guy sitting across from me whose blog was getting 90,000 downloads a month. And another person who put together live events with people and the guy next to me was making 23 million a year. And I was like, well, I don't have an audience, but I could go make friends with the people who already have my ideal client. So it really was kind of out of the gate that I focused on relationship building to connect with partners who already have my ideal audience. And hence the, the path toward joint ventures was formed. I started building those relationships even before my course was officially done, which sort of felt like I was splitting my focus. But when the course was done, I already had people ready to get me in front of their audiences and I've never looked back. 